Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Before I forget to show it again, I would like to thank you for reminding me about this right here by pulling on the picture. What? I'm supposed to get rupees out of that. What? <laughs> Is it because I have 999 or something? Um, I'm gonna go spend some. I went to the fortune teller and took 30 rupees out of me. <laughs> Let's see if it works now. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I guess it was because I had 99.99 after all. Alrighty. Now, what I plan on doing here is flopping over to the potion shop and sort of reconfiguring what I have here. I'm, I know I'm full on magic here, so I'm gonna kind of use it up a little bit because otherwise I can't use the, the green potion here. There we go. But I, all I want to do here is get all blue potions here. The reason why is because they recover more hearts than the fairies do. Um, but, you know, fairies save you from death. But the thing is that I can I can use the potion before death, providing that I remember it. <laughs> See, the thing about uh, the potions is that they, re they max out whatever you have there. So, the red one will heal up all the hearts you have, green one will heal up all the magic you have, and uh, the blue one will heal both them to the max, and oh yeah, that's right, <laughs> I got four bottles, I wasn't counting. Alrighty, so now I will see you up over at Turtle Rock. You know, it is an absolute nightmare to get through the Death Mountain without taking a hit. I, I got a ferry along the way, but still, it's just, yeah, those rocks and the enemies are just madness. <laughs> Alright. Next dungeon is officially starting now. Turtle Rock, begin. There's a little warning here. Link, do you possess the magic medicine of magic? If not, I recommend against going any further. That's why I got the blue potions. It's kind of like a two-for-one deal by uh, getting them like that. Anyway, Cane of Samaria makes platforms here when you use them on these question mark thingajiggers. Not really intuitive, but uh, it's what it does and pressing in a direction will make you move in said direction. So I'm gonna go around this place counterclockwise, I think is the best way to work it. Perhaps, maybe, we're gonna see. <laughs> uh, basically the rooms are all um, along the edges of this particular room, so yeah. That's what I am aiming to uh take care of here in a sort of sequential order now i think i'm gonna go this way get out the fire rod because i gotta light some torches i also gotta time them time yourself pretty well here um because they they go out after a certain amount of time so try and do this swift go like that go like that and then go like that and it's gonna go around maybe i should have waited a little bit longer actually maybe did it during this middle area because they might go out by the time I reach the door. Uh, oh shoot, no! Well then! <laughs> I guess I will be uh, doing it this way then. <laughs> the reverse way. I, I'm not sure if I would have had enough time anyway, but yeah, all I have to do is face up and then shoot straight up through the torches as I see them. Like say, here, and then here. There we go, that should open the door. Oh, it didn't. Um, is it is it because the fire despawns when it goes too far by? Yep, it is. Oh, is this place just gonna be here to mess with me? <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna go around the other way this time. Okay, I'm gonna start the cycle on this time. I mean, this side this time. And what I'm gonna do here is hit this one like this and then push down hit that one like that there we go and that should give me the maximum amount of time there we go success and oh no new trap called the spiked roll whatever shall i do besides you know moving out of the way it's pretty easy to dodge actually <laughs> it's not that big of a deal whatsoever it's just a matter of watching its patterns I got the map and it is so awesome. Oh, 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 o
Yeah, they, they, they typically contain the potions that I need to refill my stuff, so yeah. Is this... Uh-oh. It is! It is! Have mercy! I, need, I would like to go through that top door, though, please. Just just be nice to me. <laughs> oh, boy. Please, flying tiles. Ah! Why? Why are you so hateful? Oh, jeez, I almost took a hit there. <laughs> I can't believe tiles hate Link so much. Is it because he walks on you all the time? And and then you're, you're bringing your vengeance on him because you don't like to be walked all over? Is that it? Please tell me. Just stop flinging. We can work something out. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, is this just a recovery room? Probably. Knowing this dungeon? Mm, yeah, I think it's just a recovery room. E. <laughs> yeah, I don't think those are the kinds of walls you can... Oh, wait, I can check my map, can't I? Yes, this is just a dead end, but a recovery room with the potion and the fairy. Ah, it's gone. Wait, actually, can I, like, do we do that? Oh, the fairy doesn't come back. Well, it'll, it'll probably come back if I leave the dungeon and go back in, but not during this run. So, anyway, yeah, remember that that room is there in case you need to recover. Continuing our trek, uh, I can go through that door. Ah! I can go through that door, and I'd like to get over there before that heart despawns. If at all possible. There we go. <laughs> what is through this door? Oh, 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 new enemy! Hoku Boku! And this thing is probably one of the most dangerous things you'll see. I want to get close so I can, like, yeah, that's that's why. It, it, those things that you knock off and it bounces around like crazy. And look at these guys. They're known as Bow Wows. Or Chain Chomps in the Mario world. Yep! Mario enemies, ho! Um, I just want to see here. Because I think there's actually something... If I push... One of these blocks over to the side, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Aha! That's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, they do... Oh. Why did I do that while I was here? That was just dumb. <laughs> yeah, those chain chomps. They do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, let's go through here and I'll, I'll check out the other block on my way back, I suppose. So actually, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I want to do the whole upper area here. Just come on, just do, do, oh! <laughs> You're so scary. So, so scary. Just like in the Mario games. Okay, that doesn't give me anything. That's fine. <laughs> and this is why I prefer fairies over potions, because sometimes that life gets a little bit, a uh, little bit low there. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, that's not that's not gonna be good for me, is it? <laughs> but we'll see how the potion thing works. I just gotta be a little more careful here. Uh, it's my, I'm playing a little bit too recklessly lately, so that's kind of my issue. Alright, moving down and around, what do we have here? Another recovery spot? Probably, absolutely. And yeah, all those crisscross things in the middle there just lead from room to room. Uh, I should say, room lead to one corner of the room, to one corner of the room. And there's the compass. Ooh, I'm out of here. Oh, oh, alright, you gotta do this thing. Hold your sword out so that you're not facing the laser eye, and then go out the door. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And up. Well, I didn't forget about it, because you've seen I knew the solution to the puzzle right away, but... Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm glad Hoku Boku is gone. But the chain chomps. They are still here with a vengeance. Uh, do I need to hit that switch, really? I don't really think... I have to now. I mean, maybe it'll trigger something in this room, but I don't think so. Uh, Anti-fairy, move out of the way. Uh, some people actually call that a bubble, too. I don't know if it's an actual bubble, though. I mean, it might be, but I'm not sure because it gives you a fairy when you magic po uh, powder it, so yeah. Uh, by the way, all these pipes going around here are a uh, sort of the main puzzle of the dungeon, I guess you could say. Uh, because you got to find your way to each of those pipes, but it's not really that big of a puzzle, in all honesty. 
Uh, anyway, I think I've got this one cleared out pretty well, so let's get to one of these places. I forgot which one I want to start with first, so I'm just going to use this one. And yeah, it's just going to loop me around. You can actually hear yourself bumping around in the, in the, the corners there. It's kind of funny. And over here, we got lava! Oh my goodness! But this lava does not come into play at all, it's just for detailing. Um, I don't think this was, this was the one I wanted to take. I want to go and get that chest in the center there. And I think you can actually reach that somehow in this room. Uh, well, maybe not. I'm going to just try this one here. A lot of anti-fairies slash bubbles. Uh, I don't have a key. That could be a problem. Especially with the rabbit beam around here. <laughs> Since I can't just like race to the door. Actually, I don't think this is where you get the key to make progress. Oh, make progress in here, but we're gonna we're just gonna see here really quick because oh well, yeah, you do get a key in here. Interesting, interesting, okay. Oh, laser eye. So that means I gotta uh <laughs> that works. Alright, let's see where this leads now. Ah, so this one does lead to this chest. That's the big key, and that's why I wanted to get it. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's take... Oh, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> one way. Okay. Um... Well, I want to go back back and take the other route. Because I'm not, I'm not done here. Come on now, man. <laughs> I want to go... For the other... Oh, boy. Oh, critters. They have returned. Yeah, I knew it was around there, but anyway. <laughs> I want to go back and do the uh, other pipe that I chose not to do. They're figuring that, you know, I was going for the big key, and I should actually leave those pots as per my own advice. <laughs> Alright, so, alternate path. Here we go. Where does it lead? No one knows. Oh, this is not going to be a good room. <laughs> I can just tell you right now. <laughs> you got Medusa. Just messing with you while you got a really bouncy enemy going around here. That gives you a lot of damage if it hits you. Though probably not as much as the, the thwomp. <laughs> hmm, hmm. I don't know if I want to take that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. Um, well, I can take the big key room. I think the big key room I'll save for a little bit later. Alright, okay, which path should I take? I'll take this one, I guess, because I bet the other one will lead to, uh, oh god. I bet the other one will lead to the, uh, uh, room with the boss key. I just want to turn myself around in a way that's not going to alert the masses, which, which kind of did. Yeah, see, some only fire at you when your back is turned, and some only fire at you when your uh, front is turned. Alright, so what we got here is a little something. Look at, look at this right here. Watch us. Oh, I did it at the wrong spot. <laughs> it's a little bit over further, right in front of here. So, you might have noticed that this was the only cave that we didn't have access to when we were around Death Mountain. Well, this is actually, I guess you could say, not a part of the dungeon, but a part of Death Mountain. And so, I intend on cleaning this place out because it has something extraordinary in it, and you will soon see. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta hammer those suckers. <laughs> they don't go through the, the moles. Okay, now I can do this, and this, there we go. Yeah, those, those follow my directions, so it's pretty easy to get them to do what you want. And now, and now, and now, are you ready? Are you ready? You better be ready! It's the last dark piece of the game! Woo! Yeah! And with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I finish off the dungeon.